This is going to be a part two video. Now I'm going to say it again. Psycho like remind everyone. We need to stop all this violence. Anything that has to do with guns, weapons, everything out there that's bad, negative energy, evil, twisted, sick. Even I'll even put words of nasty. All this twisted, nasty, sick, dramatic, evil, twisted, psychopath. Everything needs to stop. Murders, killers, killings. You name it. The list can go on of all bad things. That words I can't even subscribe. And I can't even think. That's how bad it, every day is. From the next, any second, any day, any week, any month, any year, something's always happening and it's on the news or with these killings, murderings, people that are murderers, people that you don't even know or that you knew in school or you grew up with and they just become psychopathics or psychos or you name it. Needs to all stop. There needs to be less weapons in this world. And less bad. Negative. Everything needs to be good. Everything needs to be safe. For us, our families, our friends. Now I've already said we need to watch out for these sleepers. Are these people that are coming to America using our schools, our tools, using everything they can at their advantage, taking control of us, advantage of us, making us think they're our friends when they're not. They're really just our foes. And y'all don't see it. You're all like sheep. You don't understand these people, sleepers, terrorists. Whatever they come to do, to plan their next attack or, or whatever they're going to do. Twisted, psycho, bad energy, bad thoughts or, or, or whatever. Twisted nonsense that's in their mind. They're going to plan next. With killings, shootings, these airport attacks, plane attacks, train attacks, car attacks. Uh, words can go on. I just can't. I can go on all day of why we need to stop all this bad nonsense and step up as Americans and see with our eyes all this bad stuff floating around that just doesn't need to be happening. I've never even seen all this nonsense that we're seeing from the past 20, 22 and up. Back then, I mean, I was born in 1980. I never seen all this nonsense going on my whole life till around 22. Everything was just safe. There was no school killings or anything on news that, that was bad back in my day. All I had was fun was family time, going to Disney World, you name it. Blizzard Beach, all sorts of stuff here in Florida. All the good stuff. Nothing bad really ever happened in the past. But I see it all day now since 22 and up. 9-11. All this nonsense. Fires. Volcano eruptions. Hurricanes. Killings in schools. Airplane attacks. All this nonsense. Just needs to all stop. All this bad. You know. We got to watch America because who knows how long we're going to be here. If we don't keep up and keep our world safe, you know, prices are going up, skyrocket. You know, we're taking advantage of the earth. You don't even see it. People are now, or more likely now, they're just angry people. They don't want to deal with people that are returning or, or whatever or nonsense you got to do with all these YouTubers and all. Making all this free money. 
these live broadcasts and stuff. Getting free money handed while us Americans are hardly making a wage. Or whatever you're making. Yearly or monthly or day. And it's just getting handed to these YouTubers. I don't do that nonsense. I like to work for my money. I like to work hard. And help anyone out that I can. When I can. And that's what the thing is. Most Americans don't care to help. You know. Just see it through your eyes. Stop all this bad. Everything that's happening in the world. And everything will just be safe. I mean. I can't even go to my wrestling events. Safely. Now these days they check you at the door. Women can't even go in with their wallet, purses, or whatever. We have to put stuff in a see-through bag. And then they have these little things. They make sure you turn around and all. Make sure you don't have any weapons or whatever. You're hiding. They don't put stuff like that in schools. In the airports, I don't know. Really, I haven't been in the airport for a while. Since 2006. Uh, they don't have these things where they... Scan you or whatever when you walk through the door, like NXT, WWE events, or because they should make sure we're all safe when we're going to these events. When I don't see them doing this stuff over at schools and in um, in public places where they should be doing it, most of the school tax that really just happened a couple the other day, and it's still happening today. More schools gonna shut up, churches. It's just pathetic. We all need to step up as Americans. Stop these foes. Twist the psycho. People that are sleepers and they just come here to use our schools, our tools, everything they can. Take advantage of us and we don't even see them. We just allow them to become our America. No one's safe anymore. No one can be real true friends. You can't even trust your neighbor down the road. You never know what they're going to prevent or what they're going to do. You never prevent anyone. And when I get all these te- telephone marketings, I usually use this website called True Caller to make sure where the hell they're coming from. It's like I see their address or whatever. You can't even trust these marketings on the phones and stuff. They just want to scam you. They don't care. And like I said, gun weapons, stores, and all that. You need to stop. And all these uh, Republicans need to stop with these gun stores and liquor stores. Because you don't see much of that in the rich areas. You see all these liquor gun stores in the less fortunate or poor areas. You don't see much of liquor stores or gun stores or anything to do with guns in the rich Republican areas. I'm not going to say what I vote for or what I... I don't even care for voting or presidents and stuff like that. No one's really making America safe. No one really can even be trusted. And Trump, I don't know if it's true or not. If he's really fucking up everyone or it's just... uh, It's just just these news stations making him look bad and making us think that he's bad and all. You never... You can't... you can't even trust anyone these days. If he's even really bad at like he is or or is it just things on the internet or whatever making him look bad. I don't know. But it, it goes for anyone. You just can't understand with all this nonsense going on. We, we need to be safe. We need to all step up as Americans and rise. And be really family and friends and kind and nice. Stop being negative, bad. Even stores, they get angry now at people returning or they get mad at you of stuff you buy. You know, everyone's just nosy and pathetic and. Everywhere you go, it's, it's something else. Something's going to happen then. any second, next day, month, week. You never know what can happen. 
We just need to prevent our world from being not bad and just need it to be safe. Stop all the violence and shootings and plane crashes and all of the bus crashes and car crashes. Everything that has to do bad needs to stop. They need to start putting more protection in places that need it. We all need to prevent some stuff happening like these airports and all bus stations everywhere. Stop putting people on planes and all and prevent your stuff. Prevent your planes and all from crashes or, or whatever. Or buses or, or, or cars or, or, or whatever. It's stupid. Like the world does not want to prevent good things. They just don't even care. There's always something bad gonna happen down the road or any second when we could just prevent our traveling places that we that we're, we're traveling or traveling on. You know, airports need to prevent their gear, their equipment, planes. They just need to prevent better stuff for it. You know, check everything out before you put people on planes or buses or trains or cruise ships. I mean, I went on a cruise ship 2005 or six, and one of the stabilizers went out while we were poured out in the middle of the water. Luckily, they fixed it. And the whole cruise ship was going crazy. Like the world's going to end or something. Well, I was at a nice dinner night thing. All dressed up. And then all of a sudden, the whole cruise ship started shaking. But they sure definitely got to it to fix it in time. So we just all need to rise as Americans and fix problems. You know. Make sure our people are safe. You know. If it has to do with traveling or schools or, or, or anything, prevent stuff from happening and keep us Americans or anyone safe. You know, and there is good people out there, even out of America. So, but you gotta be careful of the people that take advantage of us and make us think they're our friends. You know, and we just need to stop all this bad. Floating around, just happening every day or second or year or whatever, and no one doesn't see because we're all sheep and we don't open our eyes. We just allow and let everything just step on us, and we don't do nothing about it. We're just greedy, you know, money hungry, evil, twisted, you know. We don't think before we do things. We need to start thinking with our mind, heart, and eyes. And the world will be perfect. You know? Just words I can't subscribe. It's just, we need to make the world a better place and stop. Gun stores, liquor stores, and, and all this. Because I'm sure these rich people or whoever... They don't give a damn about us, or none of that. These things would be around if they did care. Cause they ain't gonna help us. They don't care if you're poor or rich. I mean, they don't care if you're poor. They rather they don't care if you're poor. They don't care if you're in the streets or homeless or whatever. You know. And I mean, this even goes for the less fortunate. No one really cares anymore for anyone. You know. It ain't like the past. Y'all have a good one. Hope y'all understand and just see what's going on. Open your eyes to the world, the reality. Because it ain't getting better. It's getting worse every second of the day or day or year or month or going on to 2020 or who knows what's going to happen. I mean, keep checking with Paul Bagley. He'll tell you everything that's going on. Or Mr. 333. Or BP Earth Watch. Check those people. That I mean, they're there to help. They're tell to tell you what's going on. Really, compared to these stupid nonsense on the news. So, um, see before you, uh, things happen. We all just need to prevent and stand up as Americans and rise. Y'all have a good one.